I'm about to show you guys how to negotiate with sellers right now. Cause right now sellers are beating you up. That's what's happening. You should be beating sellers up. Okay guys. Cause how do you negotiate in a seller's market? Well guys, I'll let you know. It just switched. This is a buyer's market. It's not a seller's market right now. Sellers cannot just sell anything immediately. This is buyer time, baby. If you want to save time and learn how to invest in real estate faster, go to investorthrive.com to master the sales process from our training. So you can close more deals with less leads. Even if you're only doing this part time, or if you don't know where to start and need help, give me a call at 385-398-9862 and let's chat. So I'm going to show you how to negotiate in a buyer's market and I'll just switch it. If what would you do? You know, how would you negotiate? I'm going to answer both. All right. I need to get my VA, AJ, my trusted VA in here. AJ, what up, brother? Hey boss. Good morning. I was talking to one of the people in my discord. If you're not a part of the discord, go ahead and join it. I was talking to my boy, Wilson from New York. He said, I'm talking to a seller who got two properties, but um, the issue is her price. And I said, happens. So Wilson. I was, I should have told you I'm doing a video to explain this and maybe I'll send you the video after, but that is why we're here talking today is how do you negotiate with someone that wants to sell, but their price is wrong. They're too high. It's not a deal. AJ, what do you think? Someone wants to sell price is too high. What do you do? What do you think, bro? For a normal person, they would back out, but knowing how you actually really put your numbers out there, I think giving options to leads is the best one. Yeah. You got to provide them options. Like I've showed you, you got to let them know what they can do to sell their home and find out if they really need to sell quickly. So right. what we're going to do is we're going to go to bash leads. Can someone in the live, does anyone give me a property that they're working on right now that I can analyze and kind of show you guys how you would use batch leads to negotiate with that seller? Has anyone got anything? All right, we got someone, Tony Green coming in hot. He's got a lead. I love it, Tony. Thank you for dropping that lead. Look at that. Hey, let's go flex. Give me a flex wherever you are, brother. All right, we're going <laughs> to use your lead. Now, AJ, let me ask you a question. Do you think you should be talking numbers and negotiating with a seller in the very beginning of the call? Um... No, I don't think so. It's, it's going to be really weird. It's too soon, right? Right. Too soon. If you called me and you said, Hey, I want to buy your house. I'll pay 180. I'd be mm -hmm. like, who are you? Why are you calling me? Like, why do you think I just said 180 when my house is worth 600,000 or whatever it is? <laughs> it, it wouldn't make sense. So you right. have to make sellers, first of all, through a process before you can get to the part where you start talking numbers. Numbers don't matter, guys. Numbers are like, I've talked to people that want like a million dollars. And then eventually we get down to 750, $250,000 discount. What changed? Nothing really changed. He still had the same motivation. I just was able to uncover it more. So that's mm -hmm. why the sales process that I'm showing you guys is so important, which we're going to go over. So we're going to look up my boy, Tony, Tony Green. We're going to look up his property. We're going to use batch 150 K. Okay. So this looks like it might be like some kind of townhome or something. It says ch -ch -ch, property vacant. Oh, look, it is vacant. Tony, do you know what the seller wants for this house? Yeah, have you talked to him? And if not, it's okay. So what I would do, first of all, when I'm talking to the seller, this is the exact process I'm going to go through. I'm going to do it with you. Uh, AJ, you're going to role play with me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we got our boy, Tony Green saying it's upside down. He got it for driving for dollars. He talked to the mother, son passed away. So I'm dealing with the mother. Okay. Tony, I appreciate that info, but do you have a price that they want for it? Something they're asking so I, we can use it in the role play. If not, it's okay. You know, what's got you thinking about selling? Yeah, my son passed away. I'm sorry to hear that. So you don't live in the house, your son passed away. So you're trying to sell it now. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Like, is there any reason other than that, that you're selling? Like, can you keep the house or do you need to sell it? No, I actually, I have my own place. So. Okay. So you're not really interested in keeping it. Well, you know, first of all, I'd like to find out why you're selling. I totally get it now, but I kind of want to review with you some of the options just to make sure to see what you've explored, you know, cause there's a lot of ways to sell your house. You don't need to sell your house to an investor like me. Right. So uh, mm -hmm. first of all, have, have you thought about just listing it? Is that an option for you? I've thought of about it, but you know, then again, uh -huh. I don't have the time. Okay. Okay. And is keeping it an option? Can you just rent it out? I'm sorry. I know that it's an issue with your son and everything, but like, could you keep it? Could you rent it? Not really rent it. No, I don't have the time for all of that. Okay. So keeping it, renting it, even flipping it. I'm sure you don't have the time to flip it yourself. No. Okay. So, so it sounds like to me, after kind of going through some of the options on way to sell your house, you don't want to list it. You don't want to rent it out. You don't want to flip it. So, so it sounds like a cash offer is what you're looking for like someone that can just buy it right now in seven days and just be done. Is that kind of what you're saying? I think that would be an option. Okay. I actually think that is the only option I should say. Okay. But I guess what does it depend on? Cause you were kind of a little hesitant. You said it is isn't maybe an option. Well, it's really the price. Mm, okay. Well, 
Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming you you have an idea of what you want for it. Um, I did see that I would have called that the online platform. Um, mm -hmm. MLS Zillow. Or Zillow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I probably would want to go higher than what I see there. And why is that? You just you just want as much money as you can get. I think the property is in a pretty good condition, so okay. probably wouldn't go up to it. Okay, no, that makes sense. So tell me again, um, what. What do you want for the house again? As I look it up on my uh, on batch leads, um, I was really hoping to get rid about three hundred, three hundred thousand. Oh, and how did you come up with that again? Well, there were properties in the area from the neighborhood who actually got it sold for three hundred. So I was yeah, hoping to. I'm actually looking at it right now. So you said you were looking at properties that sold around that in that area for three hundred thousand. Did you check to see if those were like comparable to the one that you have, like same bedroom, same bath, townhome? Did you check that, or did you just see stuff for sale? No, I just looked. Well, look, I'm looking at it right now, and underneath, you know, townhomes on Batch Leads. The Batch Leads is a service I use, right? It, it helps me comp properties. You know, you're asking for three hundred thousand. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I'd love to get you that, but um, you know, it's just I'm just looking at the info. It seems like properties in the area. I mean, maybe they sold like that in a, over the last two years, but the market's really shifted. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know about that. The the prices are going down. It's harder to sell stuff. Yeah, I've heard about it. Okay, you know, I understand that you want that, but you know, I feel terrible. I probably I'm, I'm definitely not going to be able to get you close to there. Maybe if your house is in great condition, maybe it's if it's in a good spot. But I'm just looking at the data, and it doesn't support something like that, especially for me as an investor. So let me ask you about the condition of the house. Maybe, maybe if it's in great shape, maybe I can pay a little bit more. Is it in awesome shape? Have you updated everything? The kitchens, the bathrooms, everything within the last you know two years. So it's all pristine and nice. Yeah, actually, my son updated that. The kitchen and the bathroom were updated two years ago. So oh, I think wow. it's in a good condition. Did he do it himself or did he hire someone out? I'm not really sure if he did. Okay, well, let me ask you this. What issues are, you know, are there any issues with the property? I don't think there are. Have you been there? When's the last I, time you were there? I actually have been there three months ago. You know, if the house is in great condition, I mean, listing it is the best option. But also, you know, if we can come uh, upon like an agreement, I might be able to just take this over. Is there a mortgage in place? Is the house, no, is there a mortgage no. currently or is it paid off? No, I, I believe this is paid off. Cool, cool. You know, miss, I understand why you're selling. You know, I understand the condition of the home. I understand you need to close quickly. I've been trying to rack my brain on how I can get you close to what you want. But, you know, according to the comps that are in the area, properties that are extremely rehabbed and really nice you know they go upwards of like maybe like the 200 250 range but those have been updated right and mm -hmm. yours once you're telling me it's got a little bit of updates but i'd still probably have to go in and and get the whole place updated and by the way 260 is what they sold for well it actually looks like it just sold that seems to be like what a really really nice townhome is going for top dollar right and i never mm -hmm. just expected to be top dollar because i you know the market i believe it's going to continue to go down i think according to the numbers here I would probably have to be around, according to what I'm looking at, probably around a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, yeah, maybe like the range of a hundred to hundred and twenty thousand. I think the last time I checked on Zillow, it was higher than that. Higher than one hundred and twenty. I mean, when I looked into Zillow, I think it was one hundred and fifty estimate price for the house no, so. yeah i don't really go off of estimated prices because when the estimated price is like an algorithm it just shows like all the properties that are selling that are been oh, updated. i'd need to update yours mm -hmm. i mean i know that's a lot lower than what you wanted but is that something that you would consider yeah. i was able to close in 30 days i'd probably think about it okay so you're not not 100 percent sold on that if i can get it done quick Probably if you can do it quickly, but I'll probably explore more options. I totally get it. I mean, I would too, if I were you, I mean, I, I offered you a low price. Now that you know that, you know, the properties in the area are going max 260, if they're really nice, what's the lowest you could do for me? What's the best deal you could give me? I could probably go for 150. 150? Yeah. Is that the best you can do? I think. This is what we're going to do. I, I have to get my offers approved by my underwriter. So I'm going to go to my underwriter. I'm going to call him and I'm going to see if we can get 150 approved. Let me ask you this. Before I go to him, if I can get this offer approved, are you ready to sign today? Yeah. I mean, if we could go for it. Hello, miss. How are you? Okay, good. 
you know, I'm looking at the numbers. I just got done talking to my underwriter. Is there anything else you can tell me about the property that, you know, can help me raise the price that the underwriter will approve? Because I hate the underwriter. He's terrible. He's telling me to offer you offer less than obviously you want. But is there anything else you can tell me about the house that maybe I can convince him to go back up? Um, Nothing really. I think it's really is in a good condition. But how much is your offer? This is what he said. This is what we can do. We can close in 30 days. Okay. We can get you your money. You don't have to do it. Worry about anything. We can do 105 thousand dollars 105 i know you okay. wanted 150 but that's really like the best uh he was able to prove me for mm -hmm. i'll probably think about this 105 that's your maximum yeah yeah that's like you know that's kind of where i need to be at like considering you're at 150 i'm at 105 like i want to work something out i really i want to help out in the situation like what are you thinking maybe i can go you know run this back we'll see i was thinking really maybe we could go back to the maximum you were given earlier like 120 range if i could do if i can get 120 approved are you ready to go are you ready to sign right now yeah i think 120 is fair if I do get approved, are you by a computer so I can send you my contract and we can get this done just right now? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Let me call you back. All right. Brr, hang up. I ran the numbers, even though I'd like to get it lower, 120 gets us a 20K wholesale fee. It gets the flipper 30 if it's a full rehab. Now, if it's a medium rehab, then we can make more money. She says mm -hmm. it's in good condition. It's possible. This is a deal according to the math. This mm -hmm. area might be a little bit different. Who knows? I mean, I've never done a deal here, but this would work in Utah. Someone would do this 100%. I would do this deal. So this is a deal. You go back to batch. You just want to verify, right? You, you want to verify you're not making an offer. And that's why I teach people to get buyers too, like to reverse wholesale by calling someone that you know that buys in this area and be like, hey, you know, I'm talking to a seller. They seem pretty interested. Is this a good deal? And then the buyer can let you know as well. So you don't have to just lock it up and guess.